Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft video. Today is going to be the Applied Energistics Day. I've decided I've had enough of having a lot of this random crap in chests. I've also had enough of crafting all of these crazy little components that you need, especially for Greg Tech. Uh, so Applied Energistics is always my storage mod of choice. I will try and integrate it with these barrels as well, because I do really like the good old-fashioned barrel room. It means I'm going to have to run a ton of cable behind, but for now, uh, I think I'm going to have to sort of put up with the dual system until I have enough materials. So, let's get started. First thing we're going to need, as always, from uh, Applied Energistics, is to find a bunch of the uh, plates, the, the presses. So, there's a calculation press, there's a logic press, there's an engineering press, uh, and I believe there's a silicon one there somewhere. Uh, logic there is a silicon press. So there's those four we need. They come from meteorites. Meteorites are found with this little thing, meteorite compass. Uh, the meteorite compass needs a charged certus quartz. Hmm. Thanks to Greg Tech, we don't get charged certus quartz, at least not that I've found anyway. Now, the normal way to make charged certus quartz is to put in a charger. Charger needs fluix crystals, which... That one there you need to make from other ones. This one here you need to make from, oh, a charged Certus Quartz. So, luckily Greg has provided a way to do this, and it is just with the plain old electrolyzer, and we throw a normal Certus Quartz in, and we get a charged one out. Luckily, I have a few sitting here, and I happen to have an electrolyzer sitting here. Uh, I've been using it for, well, here we go, for oxygen. So, I've been using it to get oxygen because to use this to smelt steel um, you also need to get oxygen uh, I'll cover that now so there we go that's going hopefully I have enough power coming through here I do have one two three this will be the fourth machine going I do have five basic steam uh, turbines down there though so there should be enough power for this to ramp through the hundred seconds that it needs also going to need to grab four iron one, two, three, four. And then what I'm probably going to have to do is go for a ride on my horse. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Like, if we, uh, if we have a look at the map. Actually, let's have a look at the other map. Jay, I've got two map mods installed at the moment. Uh, one of them is Opus, which is um, Journey Map, I believe. Uh, I've been using that to find the lag on the server, basically. And... Good news, we don't have any lag on the server, so that's fantastic. Uh, so here's one. There we go, that's a that's a meteorite landed, and I've actually already been and gotten that one. Uh, that's a pretty easy one on the surface. I've explored quite far and wide, but the only other ones I know of are... Like, there's one. All the way down there in the desert. There's another one. Oh, there's potentially another one. It's hard to tell sometimes. These ones are actually, these might be different sorts of trees, but that's definitely one there. Uh, either way, that is absolutely miles away, and I am not willing to ride all the way down there. So there are some that are hiding underneath the surface. So what we'll do is we'll grab our compass. Ta-da! Hooray, compass. Cool. So as you can see, it's pointing that way, wherever that way is. So from here, we can basically go and let me just make sure I've got my turtle. Turtles are by far the best way to um, to mine these things. They normally take a diamond uh, pickaxe, but the diamond pickaxe is... oh. Yeah, you don't really want to use them. Well, I'm not up to them anyway. Diamonds are pretty hard for me to come by, unfortunately. So, here's my horse that I've managed to tame. He's a good jumper, this one. So, compass. We can race off. And basically, we just go... Wow, it looks like there's one in this, in this mountain somewhere. Wow, that was pretty fast, to be honest. So there's one here, somewhere, somewhere in here. 
Now this can take quite a while to figure out how to get these things. Oh, come on, horsey. I don't want to run into the lava. Now this is the problem with this. I don't know how high up this thing is going to be. So, oh, there we go. So it's spinning. So we've got something underground right here where I am. Uh, what are we on? Two, nine, four, five, and 20, 40. All right, so I'm going to have a dig around here. I will come back to you in just a moment once I've figured out where the heck this thing is. Actually, I might put my horse away for this one. This thing is so close. I really was not expecting not expecting a meteorite to be quite so close. So let me put this horse away and I'll have a dig around here and see if we can't find uh, our first little meteorite. Back in a minute. So this is a bit of crazy, crazy luck. I happened to drop the horse off down in my pen, which you can see way down over there. I looked up over here and look at this. There is the tiniest little meteorite perched up on the top. Of this hill and it looks like there's another couple of pieces in here as well so I'm I've never quite seen anything like this in terms of you know in terms of a, a way to get stuff so let's let's just put some safety blocks down we're gonna grab our grab our little turtle there's even a sheep hanging out up here what are you doing little sheep uh, we're just gonna go tunnel like four not even very far. Are we collecting snow? No, just getting sky stone. All right, so that should be enough. No, not quite. It needs to be... Oh, there's the chest. Grab the stuff out of it before it harvests it. So we've got an inscriber, logic press, and a platinum ingot out of that one. So not a bad little tunnel one. Do I get one? Huh. No, you need to... Need to do tunnel two, so let's do three to grab the next bit. So that is our first, um, our first little chest, and we've managed to grab a few bits of sky stone out of it as well. I may as well just hit the top of this here. I'm not entirely sure. See, one of the other things I've not ever seen before is I've not ever seen. There we go. We've got the chest. I've not ever seen these bits of sky stone appear. So. Oh, maybe I have seen them further away. It does tend to scatter a bit. But this is crazy. This is just crazy. Now, let's just demolish that because I don't really want to wreck the scenery. That is a long way down. I'm going to have to find a much carefuler way of getting down somehow. Can I jump? Ugh! Onto the snow. Uh, one heart of damage. Not too bad. Oh, another half a heart or something cool all right so we are down so now i can use this now it's still spinning around one of the things that's a little bit annoying about this is it'll always spin around even if the meteor has been completely harvested which means finding another one means you're just going to have to go out far enough until you find something which means we're going to have to jump on our horse again um, I'm going, and we could do it by foot, but it just takes so long. So you've got the basic gist of that. I'm going to run away and find some more of these presses. Uh, once I've got all four that we need, I will come back and we'll see where we go from there. So see you back in just a moment. Okay, we are back and I thought I'd just show you very quickly one of the more painful ones that I've found. So as you can see, my little compass is spinning wildly here. I've dug down and down and down I discovered a whole bunch of quartzite stuff here so I thought I was on the right track I set my little turtle going and dug some more and some more and some more uh, what I've ended up having to do is this is a little trick that I use this compass here when I reach this will stop so I make a note of the coordinates and that's what uh, 2271 give or take all the way down there at that other Oop, far end, as you could see, was the other end of it. Uh, and all you do is you go halfway in between. So halfway in between is about... It's sort of about where I'm standing here. This is this is kind of halfway between the two markers. Now, the same in the other direction. You go all the way where I'm facing now in one direction and all the way in the other direction, find the two ends, and go halfway in between. So from there, it's pretty easy to just dig down until you end up 
halfway in those coordinates. And here we have our meteorite. It's pretty deep in the dirt, this one. This is one of the deepest ones I've seen. So I'm not entirely sure what depths we can expect to find these at. Uh, I'm not even sure how big this one is going to be. Normally, wow, it's going to be quite a large one, I think. Okay, very large one. So that's one, two, three, four, five across the top. That is a crazy one. Okay, so it's going to be a bit interesting to... So we find the middle. Find the middle. I'm going to chop right through the top with my, with my turtle here. Tunnel. What do we want? Ten will do. So that'll chop through the top of the middle, and then I'll repeat again. I'll go off to the side, um, go down a couple more steps, and tunnel through until I find this chest in the middle, and get another one of these uh, presses out. So um, this is sort of what you need to do in finding these things. In fact, I might just make this whole episode about getting started with AE and then next episode um, I will come back again with making the first machines. Uh, but this is certainly how to get started. It is taking quite a while to do that. Um, I may pop in and check in just quickly and let you know how many meteorites it took me to find all the uh, presses that we need. Um, but other than that, I think I'll try and keep this episode pretty sh pretty small. Uh, so we'll see you back in a moment once I've found some more meteors. Okay, we are back and the fruits of my labor are here in this chest in front of me. We have got one Skystone chest plus another four, which says to me that we have hit five meteors altogether. Uh, as you can see, I've made quite a bit of Skystone out of this. Got four logic presses, two engineering presses, and a silicon press and a calculation press. So those are the four that we're going to need moving forwards. Uh, I'm going to cut this episode here, and next time we'll get to making our first bits and pieces uh, for applied energistics. Now that I've spent quite a bit of time out exploring and finding all these bits that I need, so uh, see you next time, and hopefully we'll get into actually some nuts and bolts with this thing. So as always, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.